Hello, it's Pete Massey here with PT Profit Center. Back in the mid 90s, Val Pack was very popular. And every two weeks, a lady would come in and I try to get me a Val Pack. Early in my personal training career, discounting my services that. never really helped my business. All it did was create a reputation of me giving away my service at a cheap price, and then, of course, dealing with customers that really didn't appreciate One, the value of my service. Two, my expertise. They did not value my expertise. Three, I just created a whole bunch of cheap consumers around me. Because every one of those consumers or prospects, and so they would tell their friends, and their friends would tell their friends and family members, and next thing you know, I had a whole bunch of people coming in wanting me to discount my services. And discounting my service never worked because I've never got respect. My expertise never got respect, and I created a cheap consumer. And you know what a consumer is, right? A consumer consumes. They don't so buy. You they want consume. to create a prospect. So let me give you Groupon. I call it the value strategy. If okay? you are looking to get the most out of each and every Groupon participant, you want to make sure that you give that person value. Now, many of them are bargain shoppers, but you can still get the most out of them. To me, you have two objectives here. Objective number one, you want to get off of Groupon as soon as possible. And that's what this value strategy is all about. Get off of Groupon because it's There's no reason healthy. why you should give your business away to anyone. If you value your expertise, if you value your service, you should never give away your business, your service. Second thing is, you want to create a raving fan. Now, just because they're with Groupon doesn't mean that they should get bad treatment. You have to treat these people like Goal. And so the first step that you want to do, tactical wise, is you want to do some kind of I'm assessment trainer. It's, if a Groupon participant came to me, I'm going to do an assessment because my goal is to create. I want them to commit to me somehow. I want them to know that I want I them to feel them. that pressure, that that level of. Um, Commitment to me the probability of them staying with me as long as possible. So, some kind of assessment. Then I'm going to give them a solution. I'm going to tell them exactly what it's going to take for them to get in shape. I'm going to tell them exactly what it's going to take, the steps. I'm going to give them a great consultation. Get that Groupon participant to stick with you as long as possible. Why? Because you want to get referrals. You want to get referrals. In order to do that, you have to get them committed to something in your studio that's much bigger than just your class. You must bring value, value at high levels. So once you create value and you get them to commit, now you can turn them into a raving fan. Number two, you're going to make them a raving fan. First objective is to get off a of Groupon. Second objective is to make each and every person that come in a raving fan so they love you, they love your program, they love your expertise. Make them into a First raving fan. Make them a raving fan and you get them to commit to something when you give them a solution to whatever problem or, or, or condition they may have. Now, they're committed to you. They are committed to do something for you because you did something for them. So now it's time for tactic number two, which is you have to create a referral system. The first thing I would do, for instance, if I had a Groupon participant come to me, is I would go with week number one, I would find guest passes, passes, so that they can give those guest passes to friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, anyone that they feel comfortable enough to give week number guest two to. or visit number two, I'm going to give them to three gift to five people. Gift certificates, like now, an actual remember, gift. Doing all these things, you're creating a raving fan. You're raising your value up higher and higher. 
the more that you raise your value, the more they're going to feel committed. The more they feel committed, the more they're going to feel like they owe you they're something going out there to be your sales force. Week number three, I'm going to have a family Make and sure friends that each day. one of these items here, guest passes, gift certificates, and friends and family day has an expiration date. date. It's going to put them in the position to make something happen quicker, to send you people as quick as possible, especially when they're at their highest level of elation of being happy about the service you're giving them because All they're committed to you here means more referrals. What happens when you get this referral, the Groupon person to send you when referrals, referrals starts sending you referrals? This referral now, these referrals are not coming from Groupon, so this is a different type of prospect you're dealing with now. Now you're dealing with a prospect that's heard about your service and your expertise and that's heard about everything you have to offer that's going to benefit them. They're not shopping. They're not coming to you uh, for a discount now. They're coming to you for one thing a better price. About referrals now is they're going to call them and be happier to deal with. They negotiate price less. The lifetime value of a referral is 16% higher. It comes off a Facebook ad. That person is not likely to stick with you as long as someone a comes referral to you is. on Groupon. They're not likely to stick with you as long. Value than strategy. A referral is. This is what I would use if I had a Groupon customer. Every customer that came to me would feel value. They would feel the commitment. And it was so, for let's more get out there right now today with the next Groupon participant and start driving more solid, dependable business to your service. We'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good one.